Good morning, everybody. As one be a jacking being trouble, ye. Oh, twenty say, Hey, Yakubu, Mama Orogo. Yakubu, Mama Durogo. I net your man, not to walk back down. Ere tete, let's see, I net your man, no, by you, I net your man, not to walk back down. We pay by what you want to mass up, on paro, on what's the set of poo. Bear recording, resorty. Jade complaint a coma show the load you can. Now, Finny Peroni, a mima Peroni, what you know. Now, I want Europe Union, want it that's your own. One election to sell a near the twenty fifth of February, one in all the one building join you. Hey, 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 one in Bob Bonto sell a near donor, one in rock pata pata. Beco true. We beco that. I want really, really disappointed. Then we have next year, man. But Lou resort to be daddy. Now, if you want to say, you 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 go for say, you 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 say, se bi eyin yi wa laye e mo ni gba na bi pe election yen orijo ni igba ta wa nsun kun tori ekun le emi sun kun o ta wo eyan ke ni orara ti awon abiya mo sun kun wi pe o wu awon ka won dibo fe ni ta won fe ko se ni to mo tan laye pita obi o mo ko sent rara 100% ni ko sent Ninu to ba fi sent boya 50% 50 to ku error ni. Bola Ahmed tinu buto ba da oda sawe yan te. Iyoku error ni ati ku ti e worst. To ni nto loko si Dubai. O ti se vice president ri gbogbo ina wa. Bo se mu tare on lo nko generator wo Nigeria to ri kan ma ba ni na. Se ru e ni to nko generator wo Nigeria to ba wa di are. Se yo fe kina wa lori lede yen. No, e ti e foro article e foro e foro PDP sile. E de ka mo le bo le bo pata ti APC. Gbogbo wa lari to sele niju election. Emi o se politician o mi ni ra ni mo ja fun. Nigba te mi nsun kun pori lede yen ti fopo ko sin to le to nbe. Ka ja de te mo ku awon mo. E ri bo se e wo e nu answers. European Union e ri ku to pa awon mo ni leki ninu answers. Emi o wi be ka da be e gbe e se kini na ni ko sin da se fe mi o. Bo te ri to sele ninu answers. We want to say, Koi Bolle, I want to say, 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 I Bisa gari, ni gba sa gari, a won, koma se yon kowa wasa do yi. Ma se se money laundry, te fongo gwe seta. E dwe e wolari, e be e so kwa se money laundry, de kule te ba wada wo yek pada sodo wa. Kande ti tron ilu she. Ke e kowo yek pada wa, to dek pe se lefe ma money to election. Election lefe ma money to, ke e wen so wole, e ni to ba ti fevo yi. Yo wole si be. E ni to ba debe, kode to ba jori jono ba debe. To ba fe vo nyi, ko si problem. Ba si yo ba ti fe vo nyi. E se te, mba si ma, ba jade ba yi, le sokpe, e ni yoda. A ba ti be, bu bu bu, te son ni ben sas. Bu bu ben si se, pe si se miti ni yu ke yi be ye. Ni yu ne te ki don yi te se miti. Wi be yi kuto kpa, wama nye, bu bu yi le di. E ri ti si e ne, ni be. E da kon se e da si. E da, soro o kuto kpa wo yi anan jure. Ba se mpa ni le e fula ni lo, ni le a wusa lo. Ni le a wusa, ba se mpa wo yi ni noti. Bi yibo, bon se yon kobon la wama wama lori ta wana, tan pa wwe yon. Ti wong tu be, elokopta ba yon fi, tan fi yon pa yon, ni yon lou ni gba nan. To di pe wong ko, istan, 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 istan network yon jade. Inam di kanon be ni nou seli. La ti 2020, la ti 2021. European Union e, di nye. E mi inan, wong le do le wong le lobi kaka, oh di mi, bi se yon ki be la ti joy. To rikpe yon se bo. Yoruba de so te min polongo. E fwa jwe e pakwa. E ne ori le de yo le kwin. A ben yo simbe. E wwa. Ti kyo ti bi afra ti polongo. 
and you let one negotiate when they come and negotiate. Eh, they can Nigeria cook me. Say European Union, you see me, say you see me. A year co was yes, in the bed. Send the dirty one say inauguration for Bola Med, Tinubu. Say you, 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 ye. Say, eh, say congratulations. Ni got one say in a gorish of football med tinubu say echo was say congratulate ye later prime minister UK or congratulate the Bosha Med Tinubu Prime Minister Francy Michael Crom or Big Nan Coco Rebi Crom Crom Microphone Oh compass oh congratulate ye my gen say both or compensate bo oh congratulate the Bala Med Tinubu Many many people Lenny Odile congratulate you. China congratulate you. Lenny, do Biden, Neo congratulate you. But I want Timu, Timu, I want congratulate you. I want news me, power, news media, I want to put the Dagbana, I want to say, congratulate you. Say, but I think I want more. I want to go to the left leg back, I want to go to the left leg back, spiritual and physical. I attack you back to back in the third year. And for me, general, oh, what do you need to be at the new book before him? But you didn't dear one, not become. Oh, never, but you did a lot of subsidy at all. I'm with Potentia, I'm with Poa. Oh, did a lot of Benyavi. A posse, my father, one, and the little poor man, one. So, Bonnie, one, my for so early a poor Yanis, it don't do a little repair because they've had a Christmas here. Let's say I'm not paying election. You want to say in February or January? Ah, eh, the Peru alone. EU, if that one party will tank, Terry, I want to see the Dakota. Every Nigeria boss is da 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 da. Nigeria will need to man. Every Bubonto Shelle, religion to buy you. In your life, you like Bubo resources. You want to go to the law. Bobo, the Satoya Cosa, you laugh at me, want to call Lotan. One will go go le, want to have one yet. Eh, really, but you won't say election yet. Two won't jack what he did away. Two won't do nursy. See, so ya, Totum Cachi, eh, Tiri Soda, Tok Biak, what he did by Tama, so that to say, by Lubala Pepper, no, what don't they? Don't they? Eh, really, Gana. Ah, I could da. Eh, you got no funny as a load to more coya for to go do a bed. Ti bobo ni usi agba yegbe, enyi ori iyu, enyi ori imba na. Iba ti mo wansa inaugurasyon, enyi o simbe ke asof mo akpe, no! Election yi, eni ti mo di bo founi, e ba anwe yon, ni nou je. E, je ki anwe yon, ki wans sentan fè ni nou ara wan. Bobo nte ensoy, to di benefiti ara yeni. Lo, to le ma fe fo, anwa le bo pati, ki nou wama adon, ko fo, be e ba je ki nou yin dun, le ri ele, yi rolo wan diye. A mis support curry lady could da, curry of a co wa. Chuba, a late one say, Toria Fanny Aranian. Nibba tell a choice and a great sorrow as a wassy joy in a goresha as a wa, and one bed joy in a goreshana. Why tell so belay? Why tell you so electy, cotton de pay in a goresha and sell it? Why tell a semitin, eh? Cast a weeping ton shame be by. Co balance. Peba de jekpe se efo mini fi do bi te ti se o. Bo ye e ti soro yi, koto di yon jo yi ni. E di wakan se shwari yi, foun yon ton. Wan bok pa se le lo watan, wan ba di yon ba le lo ri tan. O ti yon pa se lo, e wa nin to si o daman. E wa nin tan si o daman. A ben yi ti bagbe ni. So ye kan ti e se shwari yi gan, koto di wipe, eh, tribuna ma, ma se le, o ma, o ma, gwe di so se. A wan tribuna go ye kan ti se, ti wan se pa pa pa. Kan tu ti wan lo, Call to ti won gbe ti we awon labor party lo ati pdp lo ko ye kan ti gbe jade ni ko to di pe won se inauguration e po gbe kan se balabala eyin eyan mi e ba mi wo video na mo ti so tele mo mo ko yo bi eyin kan ninu o sugbe mi o so toro fun yin ki lo ti won soro ko to dojo o se je ni na se nsoro e ba watch video na thank you the 2023 general elections nigerian citizens demonstrated a clear commitment to the democratic process that said, the election exposed enduring systemic weaknesses and therefore signal a need for further legal and operational reforms to enhance transparency, inclusiveness and accountability. While we consider the electoral legal framework provides an adequate foundation 
for the conduct of democratic elections, there are ambiguities in the law. For example, the Electoral Act 2022, which had its first test in a general election in 2023, and other legal instruments evidenced gaps in terms of transparency, accountability, and inclusivity, and left room for uncertain implementation. For that reason, we recommend, and this is our first priority rec uh, recommendation, to protect the interests of voters through certainty of law for all stages and aspects of electoral processes by eliminating from electoral law and regulations errors and ambiguities to avoid potential for confusing interpretations and ensuring the revision processes are inclusive. A positive aspect of the voter registration process was active youth engagement, with two-thirds of the 9.5 million new registrants being young people. However, there is a need for greater efforts to protect genuine youth participation in elections, and similarly, ongoing under-representation of marginalized groups in political life requires robust remedial action. Overall, the collection of permanent voter cards was adversely affected by poor institutional planning and a lack of transparency. To ensure the accuracy and inclusiveness of the voter register, an external independent audit would be beneficial. <clears throat> the campaign was competitive, with freedom of assembly largely respected as evidenced by the nationwide conduct of rallies. However, challenges such as the Naira cash and fuel scarcity and incidents of orchestrated violence were observed to hamper some campaign activities and to reduce attendance. In addition, the mission recorded cases of undue interference by governors, while the campaign was also marred by internal party conflicts. Personality focused canvassing and misuses of incumbency by governors tilted the playing field, leading to increased polarization driven by divisive rhetoric based on ethnicity and religion. Candidates' prospects to meaningfully campaign also were negatively impacted by a high level of disputes resulting from candidate registration. The mission noted well over a thousand pre-election court cases some negatively impacted are overlapped with the polls. Our mission recorded more than 100 campaign-related violent incidents, including, tragically, assassinations. These and other criminal acts obstructed the campaign, disrupted the elections, and suppressed voter participation. Weaknesses in the legal framework for these electoral offences and others, such as misuse of state resources, intimidation, and vote buying, contributed to inadequate enforcement. Key state institutions, including INEC, but also political parties, failed to tackle these problems. Coming to our second priority recommendation, recommendation we consider there is a pressing need to address impunity for electoral offences through robust, well-defined and effective interagency coordination governed by clear rules on non-partisanship optimization of resources, delivery of effective investigation and sanctioning, and provision of regular public consolidated information on outcomes. INEC introduced some very positive measures early in the electoral process. For example, it increased the number of polling units and established a system of electronic accreditation of party agents, media, and observers. Public confidence, however, in INEC was severely damaged on the 25th of February due to its operational failures and lack of transparency. While some corrective measures introduced before the 18th of March elections seem to have a positive impact, overall trust was not restored and eventually led civil society to call for an independent audit of the entire process. However, there is no legal requirement for qualification and merit-based appointments of the positions of INEC Commissioner or Resident Electoral Commissioner. Prior to the elections, selection processes were questioned, leaving the institution vulnerable to mistrust. We believe that these vulnerabilities can be effectively addressed by, and this is our third priority recommendation, 
establishing a robust operational framework for the independence, integrity and efficiency of electoral administration through an inclusive and publicly accountable mechanism for selecting candidates to the posts of INEC commissioners and RECs based on clear criteria of evaluation of merits, qualifications and verified non-partisanship. A number of key issues hindered freedom of expression and limited voters' access to diverse information. For example, analytical reporting was limited due to self-censorship by state-level outlets who feared retribution from governors. Fines were imposed by the broadcast media regulator without due process. We are also seriously concerned journalists face attacks and with little consequences for the perpetrators. Therefore, and our fourth priority recommendation, we consider it essential to afford adequate protection to freedom of expression by developing a comprehensive operational framework underpinned by the skills and means for ensuring prompt investigation and prosecution of all types of attacks against media practitioners. Positively, the media raised voters' awareness, fact checkers stood up against disinformation, and media outlets extensively covered the campaign, providing equitable exposure to both the APC and PDP. Disappointingly, politicians avoided answering merit-based questions during interviews and instead engaged in party infighting. While social media was an important tool for information exchange, campaigning and mobilization, misinformation was massively spread. Additionally, we noted legal provisions such as the Cyber Crime Act had the effect of encouraging self-censorship and we therefore consider amendment of the legislation is needed to safeguard freedom of expression. Detailed operational frameworks to strengthen inclusion are needed. For example, we found that persons with disabilities could not always access polling units and assistive devices were rarely available. Data on registration and, and voting by internally displaced persons was not published. Women's political participation in Nigeria is not in line with the country's international commitments and provision of equality. The number of women participating in the process evidences a worrisome trend of decline since 2007. Only one woman contested among 18 presidential candidates and there were no nominated female running mates. So while the 25th February elections were held on schedule, a lack of transparency and operational failures reduced trust in the process and challenged the right to vote. Voters assigned to new polling units had difficulties in identifying their correct polling unit and the conditions in almost half of polling units observed did not ensure the secrecy of the vote. In 16 states, the mission noted incidents of violent attacks on polling units and indeed on INEX staff and harassment of voters. The, count the counting procedures were negatively impacted by overall poor understanding, particularly in completing forms and chaotic and overcrowded conditions in collation centers observed. Key issues impacting the orderly conduct of elections on March the 18th included interference by party agents and a lack of adequate protection of the secrecy of the vote. The elections were impacted by outbreaks of fighting and thuggery which led to a high number of cancellations of polling units and regrettably also fatalities. <clears throat> the introduction of the Bimodal Voter Accreditation System or BVAS and the INEC results viewing plat portal IREV was widely seen as an important step to ensure the integrity and credibility of the elections, but lack of transparency before the polls and notably the severe de severely delayed display of presidential result forms on the 25th of February, for which INEC failed to give a timely and comprehensive explanation, dashed the public trust in election technologies and in INEC. For both elections, INEC did not publish key relevant information hampering transparency throughout the collation processes and the declaration of election results. For example, INEC failed to publish the manner of calculation of the declared winners, turnouts, number of accredited voters, and the list of polling units where elections were cancelled, postponed, or not held. 
The absence of this information undermined the possibility for independent verification of the outcome and public trust. We consider it vital, and this is our final priority recommendation, to protect the free expression of the will of the voter and integrity of elections by establishing a robust, transparent, and easily verifiable results processing system with clear rules. These include uploading polling unit results from the polling unit only and in real time. At each level of collation, results forms to be uploaded in real time and all forms to be published in an easy trackable, easily trackable and scrapable database format. Actually, Nigeria, vis-a-vis -vis the Nigerian politician, what again, what kind of mark will you give them? Are we improving or we are stagnant? Thank you. If only it was as simple as giving a mark uh, to, um, to all of the stakeholders and how it's running. It, it, it is, of course, I, I completely understand your motivation to ask the question. And we have been, uh, we've engaged very much with INEC. Doors have been open to speak with us throughout the process from the very beginning, including yesterday. Um, and you know, I emphasize that we really hope that the, such criticisms are here, and they are robust criticisms, are taken in the spirit in which they're given. And the spirit in which they're given is one of constructive criticism towards a shared goal towards deepening Nigeria's democracy. Um, we t judge elections on the base of international criteria around inclusivity, credibility, transparency, and accountability. And throughout the report, we, we, we draw on these central, central principles. And it is for the people of Nigeria to conclude, based on what we found, uh, to make the mark, <laughs> I would say. Um, and in, I think you have a general question about the direction of travel of Nigerian democracy. And I think I made this point before in uh, when we launched our preliminary statement. And, you know, there is sort of democratic backsliding across the world. Um, in Europe, we are facing severe rule of law challenges from individual member states. Um, former EU country, UK, they're having problems. It has to be said, the United States had an incredibly complex election, <laughs> to put it mildly, uh, in 2020. So, uh, you know, this isn't unique to, uh, to Nigeria, to West Africa, to Africa. It is uh, an issue that, in my view, therefore underlines the need for further election monitoring. And as far as I'm concerned, it's a reciprocal process. It's a, of mutual benefit to both our democracies, and it deepens the relations more generally outside of the framework of elections. So I, I, I think that we, you know, we as a mission don't compare one election to the next because we were only here for the period of January to April. And none of, I certainly wasn't here for the last election, so it would be outside of our normal procedure to try to, uh, to compare. So I hope that answers your question as uh, closely as I can. You know, there, there isn't a threshold where we say, well, I'm afraid this election has been so poor that we have no further interest in democratic governance or rule of law in Nigeria. Uh, and, and I think that would be a dangerous thing. And I've outlined my concerns generally that we are in a period of democratic recession across the world. Just 6% of people in the world live in free countries according to um, uh, the, the Democracy Index published by Freedom House. So the time for investing in election monitoring is even more profound and more urgent, in my opinion. Um, in any case, the question of investing in democratic governance here in Nigeria is a matter for the EU delegation. And it's really important to remind you that this mission is separate from the delegation, which allows the delegation to uh, uh, be able to have their diplomatic relations with the government separate from the work that we carry out uh, this, this, uh, during the course of this mission. The a process of the election itself is one component of the work that we carry out as a mission. We looked at all of the processes up to election day and subsequently. Uh, election day itself, there were obvious shortcomings and I outlined them in the speech 
and they're contained in the final report and feed into the recommendations. So, for example, I mentioned the fact that there was a lack of transparency around uh, data relating to the collection of PVCs. Uh, there was uh, there should have been better distribution of sensitive materials and earlier distribution of sensitive materials. We should have had absolute real-time uploading of results, particularly the presidential results on the day of the election. And these shortcomings are laid out here. And it's not as if we are coming with any new standard. These are the standards that Nigeria has set for itself. So we, we bring, bring these to light. It is for Nigerians themselves and all stakeholders in Nigeria to determine what their view is about their democratic institutions, about their political parties, about all the stakeholders that are taking part in elections here in Nigeria. We, may, we, we carry this out at your invitation, with your permission, and uh, if you want to take that forward, we finished our work, we finished our work this Friday, um, and we, we hope that it has been some contribution uh, to help the discussion and period of national reflection after the election. <laughs> Eh, to the bed, nearly to back me. And you said that's in bat won't buy me and your son. So, bad, let's shut to my fifth for ye any time I rode him, Motabas, to better back me the bed. To a cocoon, he lets him cocoon. Only my mother bed, to you, no, my first thing ye, the Danico Gola Benny, kill us a legat and the mutiny son of gun. That's it, 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 that's it,